Good afternoon, friends. Today is July 11th, 2017. Hope everybody is having a good day so far. Today's Bible verse is going to come from the King James Version in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. It states as follows, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, if, first of all, if we go into our searches and look up the definition, what is the definition of faith? Faith is confidence or trust in a person or thing. Belief that is based on proof. Belief in God or in the doctrine or teachings of religion. Belief in anything as a code of ethics, standard of merit, a system of religious belief. The obligation of loyalty or fidelity to a person, promise, engagement, etc. And the observance of this obligation, fidelity to one's promise, oath, allegiance, etc. And that's what it tells us in the dictionary. Okay, getting back to the message. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, in my interpretation of that, faith is like planting a seed. When we pray for something that we want, or for health, or happiness, or whatever the case may be, uh, we're planting a seed, basically. And when you plant that seed, you have to have the patience to see it grow, and be nurtured, and by light, and by water, rain, uh, fertilizer, etc., right? So when we pray and we ask God for something, we're planting a seed to God saying, like, for example, oh, Lord, heal me from my headache, we'll say. And so we know that if it is God's will, He will nourish that seed and He will take that headache away. But we must remember that it will be in His time. But also, you have to understand that faith is basically having to face the faith to know that the scriptures is Jesus' word and that they are real and that what's contained, contained in them is true. And so when we when we believe as Christians, we are living by faith. And we have to continue to keep that faith and be persevere in doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me so much. And so having faith is having confidence that we'll receive the good things which we hope for and enjoy and that God will, God's Spirit will continue to light to shine down on us and our children and our heirs, our families, our friends, and that second coming will come when Jesus will return. And because of things that are in, in, invisible and eternal uh, it, of God and things of God, we have to have respect that that gives us these things to make them visible and to make them happen. And that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. So when we declare something, we are, are basically saying to God, you know, I declare this to you and have hope that you will fulfill this declaration and then you have the faith that he will do so in his time. And so that's basically um, what I think that is saying. And because we cannot, uh, we cannot see, physically see God walking around our planet or, or, or shining down on us, but through our faith, we know he is with us always. And so that is our evidence. 
is based on our faith and on the scriptures of the Bible. Because the more you read in the Bible, the more you understand the Bible, the more it becomes clear to you. Now, back in the days that this was going on in, in, the, in the Bible was when um, the Jews uh, were on the approach of what was called the Chaldean invasion, and they were told to live by faith. And the scriptures of a person uh, who was strong in faith and his promises, they resisted great temptations and and persecutions and and were had faith that they would be, would be out of danger and in their acts of obedience and so on and so on. Um, so basically, it was a triumph over the terrors of the world that was going on around them and uh, so you can explore more about that if you're interested in that uh, but anyway going back to our scripture um, there are cross scriptures in the Bible that you can find on this verse about faith. Faith is all over the Bible. Uh, you can, you will see those uh, throughout from beginning to end. And uh, so, you know, you just need to, uh, to to explore that on your own time whenever it's good for you to do so. Uh, I might can give you a few verses, I'm not sure. Let's see what I can come up with. So, I know there was something spoke about it in Matthew, for sure. I'm trying to think of what the, the uh, cross-reference was. I know that in 2 Corinthians 4.18 it says, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And 2 Corinthians 5.7 tells us, For we walk by faith, not by sight. And Hebrews 3.6 tells us Christ is faithful as the Son over God's house, and we are in His house. And if we hold firmly to our confidence and hope of that, that is what it's all about. And so we have to, to hold firmly to our faith. Just like Noah, he had faith. And he was warned about not yet seeing things to build that door, that ark. And by faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, righteousness that came by faith. Uh, just like when Moses left Egypt, he wasn't afraid of the king's anger. He preserved because he saw him who is invisible, which is our father. So, many people have died in faith. And maybe they didn't receive the promises before they died, but their their reward will be in heaven because they kept their faith. So basically, that's what I believe this verse is saying to us. And uh, if you have a different view, I'd be glad to hear, hear it or see it in the comment section. Um, you can always email me at safe underscore sanctuary at yahoo.com or leave a comment. And I hope this gives you some peace today and, and uh, that you're having a good day. I'm still having a little bit of internet problems, but I'm working on it. And hopefully in a few days I won't have to worry about it anymore. So you guys have a great day. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.